Hello, my name is Jacob, and I will be presenting our work on comparing object objective functions for segmentation and detection of microaneurysms in retinal images. Microaneurysms are the earliest sign of potentially side threatening diabetic retinopathy, um, and they account for less than half percent of uh, retinal images, meaning that they are hard to detect. Deep neural networks have been su successfully applied to binary classification of diabetic retinopathy, uh, but we've seen less success for full-scale classification, possibly due to the microscopic nature of microaneurysms. MA detection is labor-intensive uh, and resource-demanding, and uh, automatic MA detection could lead to a number of potential benefits, including reduced healthcare expenditure. The question is then, can it also be used to improve full-scale classification? Deep neural networks, such as units, can learn to segment biomedical image features, but learning network parameters can be affected by class imbalance. Different loss functions has been proposed as alternatives to the standard cross-entropy loss, such as weighted cross-entropy, dice loss, focal loss, and focal Tversky loss. We compared deep neural network networks trained for segmentation of retinal MAs and we train the network using different objective functions to determine the best loss for segmentation of uh, microaneurysms. The resulting network segmentation maps are used for detection of individual MAs, as well as for image level detection. We evaluate network performance using different metrics. For MA detection, we use the free response receiver operator curve. For se segmentation, we calculate the average position score. For image level detection, we calculate bootstrapped AUC scores. Um, and we also perform uh, different statistical tests. Here we see the results of training the networks using different objective functions for MA detection on the left and MA segmentation on the right. Generally, we see that the losses based on the cross entropy perform better than both the dice loss and the focal Tversky loss. If we take a closer look at the results, we see that the weighted cross entropy achieves the highest frog score, as well as the highest sensitivity at an um, 1.08 false positive uh, per image average uh, threshold. We see that the, the focal loss uh, achieves the highest average precision score for MA segmentation. Looking at the bootstrapped AUC scores, uh, we see that the, the focal loss achieves the highest AUC on the A up to images, while uh, a network trained using uh, cross entropy uh, performs best on the, on the Mesidor dataset. To summarize, we achieved the highest frog score of 0.54 using weighted cross entropy. This is as good or better in comparison to similar methods. We note that the dice laws perform significantly worse. Using the focal Tversky laws, we fail to detect any microaneurysms. The highest average precision score uh, of 0.48 is also achieved using weighted cross entropy. The example on the right shows true positive detected microaneurysms in green circles false positive in red and false negatives in yellow. The example illustrates the difficulty in detecting microaneurysms due to their size and their similarity to other image features. The highest AOC of 0.99 is achieved using the focal loss on the e of the images, but there is no significant difference for image level detection on the 80 images, um, excluding, excluding the focal Tversky loss with an AOC of 0.5. For detection of ICDR level 1, we achieve an AOC of 0 0.73 using a model trained with the cross entropy on the, the Mesidor images. Comparing our, uh, our methods to uh, that by Orlando et al., we see that we achieve similar results. On the right, we see example output probability maps from a network trained using dice loss to the left and weighted cross entropy to the right. In conclusion, we are able to detect microaneurysms with high sensitivities at low false positive average per image. And we see that losses based on the cross entropy, such as the weighted cross entropy and focal loss, perform at least as well or better than the dice loss and focal Tversky loss. We also see that MA detection can be used to detect low levels of diabetic retinopathy.